this down, my recommendation would be whenever you're asked to find the angle of a vector, draw the vector. Draw the vector. This has three linear units, horizontal, so one, two, three, and then negative four vertical units. There's my vector. Right? That's my vector. What was this vector is called? They didn't say. They just gave us three atomized protrusions. All right. Sure. I mean, what? Uh, let's go ahead and find the magnitude. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd like to call it something. Let's call, just call it call it V. So if I want to find the magnitude of my vector V, it's going to be the square root of 3 squared plus negative 4 squared. Well, obviously, guys, you should know by using the Pythagorean triple, which we've been doing over and over and over, this magnitude is going to equal 5. Okay. So the magnitude of this vector is equal to 5. And then it says find the direction. So we have the tangent of theta is equal to negative 4 over 3. So therefore, theta equals tangent inverse of negative 4 over 3. So I just make sure my calculator is in the green mode. And then I just go in, I go tangent inverse, negative 4 divided by 3. And I get negative 53.13. 1, 3, and if I round to the nearest thousandth, that would be my um, here. Now, that's good. That's correct. However, does it say? OK, so when we're talking about the angles of, yes. So 16 plus 9 is 25. Square root of 25 is 5. Um, so <laughs> so the one thing when we're talking about the angles of vectors is we're going to want to compute the angle of vector in the positive format. Okay, We want to find the angle in the positive form. So that's why I want you guys to graph this, because we want I don't want to find this angle. I want to find from standard form. So unless it's otherwise noted, we want to find the angle in standard form with not always positive angles, not with a negative. So therefore, if all the way around a circle is 360, but I want to find 360 minus this 53, all I do is take 360 degrees minus my answer. And I get an angle of 306. Eight, seven degrees. Yes. Doesn't the question say find? What if the question doesn't say? The question, question says find the magnitude and direction of the angle of the vector. Okay. How did you know the square root of the square? This. That's the magnitude formula. If you have a vector that's at v one comma v two, the magnitude of the vector, which is the length is equal to the square root of v1 squared plus v2 squared. Yes? Question? Nope. Yep, we're always using tangent.